Today on our 2014 Nissan Ultima, we're going to be doing a test fit on the 17 by 46 Kurt cargo carrier. And this has been designed for use with two inch hitches or inch and a quarter. It has up to a 500 pound weight capacity. The part number on it is C18145. We're going to be using it in a class one hitch today. That's going to limit the overall capacity of the carrier down to 200 pounds. And we won't be needing our two inch adapter. So I'm just going to set that aside. To begin our test fit, we'll slide the shank of the carrier right into the receiver tube of our hitch. We'll then line up our threaded hole with our hitch pin hole. With those in line with one another, we'll take the provided bolt, we'll slide that through, and we can thread it on in. Now you'll notice, still got some movement and some play here, so that's when we're going to use our wrench and we'll tighten our bolt on down. Now this is going to draw the shank of the rack, or carrier rather, over against the receiver tube. And you'll notice there all that play and all that wiggle is gone. We've also got a provided clip. We just slide that in the end of our bolt. Now it looks like the carrier is pretty close to the rear of the vehicle. We're going to have about three quarters of an inch worth of clearance there, but we're not going to have any worry of it actually coming up and making contact with it. Overall, the carrier has added about 19 and a half inches to the length of the Nissan. And it's going to offer us about nine inches worth of ground clearance. Of course, there's no issue with opening the trunk here. As you can see, it opens nicely. It does slightly break over the plane of the carrier here. That happens at about 23 and a quarter inches. So you're going to have a very small area here that if you stack items up higher than that, you might run into a little bit of air interference with. It's very light though. Now this particular Ultima has a dual outlet exhaust setup. One there on the driver's side, one here on the passenger side. It's located about three and a quarter inches from the face of our carrier. So we'll just want to keep that in mind if we plan on transporting any kind of heat sensitive materials. Now that we've had a good look at the Kurt cargo carrier and we've seen how it's going to work with our 2014 Nissan Altima, let's take a look and see how that same cargo carrier performed when they had it out on the test course. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side to side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. 